Wednesday, 2 p.m., 2006. All right. New inmates arrive at Alexander Correctional Institution in Taylorsville, North Carolina. This closed custody prison prides itself on control. And it starts immediately. Officers call it one of the tightest prisons in the state. He scores more burns brand tattoos. At processing, a convicted murderer gets his first taste of what life will be like at Alexander. The inmate reluctantly complies with a body cavity search. Then the officer forces him to put on his new prison uniform. Now, another officer tells him he can only keep a fraction of his personal belongings. Go ahead and put these back together or get rid of them. Yes, you throw all this stuff away, won't you throw it away? Mm -hmm. I'm not allowed to. They're small controls, but it's just the beginning. Alexander operates with one thing in mind, total control. Lives depend on it. Turn around. Alexander houses some of the most dangerous felons in the state. Murderers, rapists, child molesters. 25% of these inmates are never going home. To keep volatile prisoners like these from going off, the staff rules with an iron fist. Assistant Superintendent Keith Whitener makes sure inmates know who's in charge the moment they arrive. One of the things you'll hear inmates talk about when they come into a, a prison, especially your longer term offenders, this is my home, this is my cell. No, it's not their cell, it's my cell, it's my staff cell. Set your back right there, step up to Officer Miller, he's gonna mail and text you, we'll get you on the mail. I had heard when I was at the other prison that, um, that this prison don't allow all that stealing and all that gang banging and all that, that uh, homosexuality, they, they don't have all that, so you know, it's either you're going to buy by their rules, or you basically almost going to hit the highway. You know, they're going to get you up out of here. Alexander appears spick and span, but things aren't always as they seem. The facility's iron fist may be losing its grip. There's something seething beneath the surface that could jeopardize the overwhelming security of Alexander Correctional. One of the biggest threats to security within any prison is gang activity. The North Carolina Department of Corrections has established the Security Threat Group, or STG, a special unit to tag gang members and track their movement within the state's prisons. Alexander has nine gangs operating within its facility. I'm gonna ask you a few questions, Harris. Uh, are you ever been a member of a street gang, a prison gang? Officers photograph all tattoos and brandings, looking for any gang affiliations. Known gang members receive additional processing. The STG assesses and rates each gang affiliate from one to three, based on the threat he poses to prison security. Three is the highest threat. Inmates immediately receive additional restrictions based on their threat level. Those that pose the greatest threat are sent here the whole segregation. In a prison notorious for tight security, this is where controls are most severe. This is the prison within the prison. Inmates here spend 23 hours a day in a seven by 10 foot cell. A typical stay is 30 days. Some prisoners have been here for years.